I know Davido, Whiskey, Rema. You know Sarkodie? Who? Sarkodie. Is that a person? <laughs> How many Ghanaian artists do you know? Ghana has music. <laughs> yeah, South African? Yeah, I'm a South African. Okay, so do you know any Nigerian and Ghanaian artists? Yeah, I only know maybe Nigerians, not a Ghana. No, um, Stone Boy? No. Shatawale? No. Sarkodie? No. How to be? No, no man. No man. I don't know anything about <laughs> oh, Ghana. This one they are Ghana. We are losing though. They don't know Ghanaian artists. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Enjoy in Germany. Please, if this is your first time on the channel, kindly like and subscribe to the channel for more entertainment and political news updates. So today we'll be talking about the Nigerian music industry and the Ghana music industry. And it's not really about the Nigerian music industry, but the Ghanaians, content creators, always come online to make this comparison between the Nigerian music industry and the Ghana music industry, of which I don't see any sense in there because they are trying to bring their own legs out. And there's this content creator who resides in South Africa, or I think... Uh, but he basically did this video in South Africa trying to compare the Nigerian music industry to that of the Ghana music industry. And he took to the street and st a street interview on South Africans with South Africans to know uh, who is popular, the Nigerian uh, artist or the Ghana music artist. And there are a lot of reactions from the South Africans and a lot of them seems not to really vibe or seems not to really know anybody from ghana that is a musician and they did know uh, nigerians and and this ghana content creator seems to be surprised and i don't understand why should they be surprised uh, you know nigerian music has gone far we are not even competing with anybody in africa but ghana ghana content creator seems to be competing with the nigerians all the time online even that uh, music artists they do compete with nigerians in their mind because they cannot say it out fully with both shares because they know they are benefiting from the nigerian streams too and this is getting out of hand. It is so annoying that these people always think they are better than Nigerians, even when the, it is contrast. It, it's as bright as they that the Nigerian music industry is far gone ahead of Ghana. But it seems to be in delusional uh, mind. They always feel that people outside the world, people outside the, um, of Ghana know and Ghana should be better than Nigeria. That kind of mindset. When the Nigerian music artists they are putting in the work they have been doing it back to back collaborating with different artists around the globe not only in africa they do it with the americans europeans even in india right now and i saw just did one collaboration with an indian artist rema has gone far so i don't understand why these people should be asking that kind of question like how do you come to know about nigeria music industry how do you come to know about any artists from nigeria and you don't know anybody from ghana they work out there for you to see my bro so guys i will allow you to watch some snippets from this video uh, this guy did in south africa and you try let me know what you think about this in the comment section let me know about your opinion before i bring other videos for you we have a pretty lady what's your name hi i'm bianca okay i'm shark boy the fresh boy okay. am i a fresh boy i think you are <laughs> <laughs> all right so the question is simple do you know some nigerian artists I know a few Nigerian artists. Who and who do you know? I know Wizkid, I know Thames, I know Davido. Um, I think Thing is also um, Nigerian, that one. Last, last. And then, and then, Benna Boy. Benna Boy, yeah. Benna Boy, last, last, let's sing it. Everybody <laughs> go to <laughs> breakfast, child. Have you told breakfast? I know. You know. <laughs> All right. And how many Ghanaian artists do you know? Yo, I don't even know any Ghanaian artists to be frank. I, I don't know. Have you heard of Black Sheriff? No. Sarkodie? Who? Sarkodie? No, no, no. Stone Boy? Stone Boy, no. Stormy. Stormzy. No, Stone Boy. Stone Boy. Can't promise. No. Shatawali? No. 
No, I'm very much as well. But heard... I don't know any songs by them. You've heard... How many Nigerian artists do you know? I know like a five, a valid five. I know Tua Savage. I know Ira Star. I know Davido, Rizkid, Rema. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who's your favorite among them? Tua Savage. Tua Savage. And how many Ghanaian artists do you know? Ghana has music. <laughs> yes, Ghana has music. Hi, son. Uh, you don't know any Ghanaian art? Uh uh. Wow. Do you know Sarkodie? Who? Sarkodie. Is that a person? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, like one of the biggest artists in Ghana. Oh. You don't know uh, Stone Boy. I think I've heard of that. But I'm. Uh uh. No, I know Stormzy. Stormzy, he's in the UK. Oh, oh so Do you know Shatawale? No. No head of that one. Have you heard of Black Sheriff? Wow. Simple question. Do you know any Nigerian and Ghanaian artists? Uh, I only know maybe Nigerians, not a Ghana. Which Nigerians uh, do you know? Uh Davido. Okay. And Penna Boy. Okay. Yeah. What about Ghana? Do you know any Ghanaian artist? No, man. You've not heard of any Ghanaian artist? Maybe I, uh, I maybe I know them, but... Uh, okay, let me mention some. Do you know um, Stone Boy? No. Shatawale? No. Sarkodie? No. R2B? No. Manifest? Manifest, no. Can Promise? No. Oh Ghana, <laughs> this one they are Ghana. We are losing though. They don't know Ghanaian artists. But how how did you get to know of the Nigerian artists? Yeah, maybe if you get, uh, I play music on uh, YouTube, whatever, on ads, you see, maybe it, it can just pop up. Okay. Yeah. So the question is simple. Do you know any Nigerian and Ghanaian artists? Um, I think I know only a few of Nigerians. Yeah. You don't know Ghanaian artists? Mm -mm, not really. Okay, which Nigerians do you know? I know only Banabo and Davido. You know Wizkid? Wizkid? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You know him? You've heard of him? Do you know Tim Shrema? Not really. Do you know Don Jazzy? Mm -mm. No. You don't know Alright, what about Ghana? You don't know anyone in Ghana? No. Have you heard of Stoneboy? Mm -mm. Sarkodie? No. Shatawale? No. Kim Promise? No. Black Sherry? No. Wow. Wow, you don't know any Ghanaian artists. Mm -mm. Ghana, in this video, we are disgracing ourselves. I think the music industry, we need to step up because it's very disgraceful. Nigerians watching will be so happy and trolling us because, Charlie, we are nowhere near their level when it comes to music. So, guys, you can see for yourself from the few interviews this guy have done to this with these South Africans in South Africa, Cape Town. You can see he has been trying so hard to force them to make sure they know somebody from Ghana, from the Ghana music industry. He called their big heads the big, the, their big theory, but still, they seem to be no uh, to, to be unknown to these guys, and he's so shocked that these people still recognize nigerians they know nigeria artists because they, they, the works are there for you to see go to streams platforms you see nigerians popping up everywhere not just in africa globally they are popping up here in germany you can go to club you hear afrobeat from nigeria every day every time so it's not it's not something of a shock or surprise but uh so surprised that these Ghanaians are acting surprised as if they don't know their standard or their, their range of their artists. So even other African artists, other African Africans, other African countries, they, they know this already. You see other people making content about praising how the Nigerian music industry has elevated the African uh, mentality, how the, the Nigerian music industry has made these foreigners to see that Africans can be beautiful they can be black and beautiful and proud but it is only the Ghanaians and their Ghana content creators that are refusing to see this progress the Nigerian music industry has 
were brought into the African continent. They always want to be in the competition with Nigerians. When Nigerians are not even looking, they always want to have the same share of the pie where they have not worked. And this is so annoying. This is getting annoying. Okay, let me show you a video of uh, a Uganda guy that is telling you that Nigeria has the music industry on a shock hold and there's nothing anyone can do about it because today you're talking about us okay tomorrow you see other artists popping up from nowhere even once you don't know even we as Nigerians there are a lot of Nigerian music artists on the ground that are yet to, to spring out from from the crowd so let me let you guys to see this video enjoy Nigerians it is high time you give us some breathing space you need to give us some breathing space. You have occupied the whole music industry. You have us on chokehold. We can't breathe. Someone may think the whole music industry is composed of Nigeria. Hmm? Whiskey, Davido, Banner Boy. Fireboy, Joe Boy, Mavins. What you are savage. Wahoo. We cannot breathe, my friend. Then there are these new artists who have come from nowhere, not even understand. Shimanya Sake, say he vibes, Shali Pop, call me Shali Pop, please, I beg, take it slow. You have. So, guys, that is it for you guys. If this is your first time on this video, please kindly like and share this video so that the algorithm should pick it up. Um, please kindly subscribe too so that you're able to get more of this kind of content from me and give me the motivation to come regularly to drop beautiful content like this and that is how we'll conclude today's um editorial on how the Ghanaians are working so hard not to improve their music but just to denigrate the the success of nigerian music industry they are not fighting for their own to rise they are only trying to make it sounds as if um they are on par with nigeria or if they are not on par with nigeria then the thing is nothing so guys thank you very much for watching and catch you on the next one peace out